You know, the internet can be a good place. It actually legitimately can be a good place. You can find information about anything you need. If there's accurate information or not, eh. And you can find the information nonetheless. You can go to the internet and find all types of self-help and all types of motivational stories and feel-good stories and moments. You have to navigate through a lot of crap and most importantly, a lot of porn in order to find it, but it's there. But when it comes to professional wrestling, I really wonder if the internet is actually a good thing or not. Yeah, sometimes it is, it absolutely is. And sometimes it just feels like it's not. Like every time a segment or a subsection of a segment of the fan base of wrestling as a whole or of a particular company gets something stuck in their crawl or gets something that they get all pissy pantsed about, they go to Twitter and they're going to create a hashtag and they're going to sit there and try to get this trending and that da 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 like we're going to rant and rage and make our feelings know with our flaming dead fingers of fire and we're going to make sure we are heard loud and proud because we are ticked off and we're not going to take it anymore, WWE. I know a lot of times, isn't that just what it is? My golly. I'm sorry, but sometimes it's valid and sometimes it's not. And the most recent hashtag that we saw actually trending on Twitter was hashtag main event Bel Air versus Banks. And this is all about fans wanting to ensure that Bianca Bel Air versus Sasha Banks is indeed the main event of night one of WrestleMania in just a couple of weeks. And this is what we have devolved into. That in order to get our way like a bunch of self-entitled brats, we've got to take to our Twitter devices and try to get hashtags trending on Twitter. Yes, coming from the person who helped champion save Yoshitatsu about eight, nine years ago. Yeah, pot meat kettle. I got you. Understand that. But that was done at a purpose for both unselfish and certainly selfish motivations. Here... It's just like, really? And as, and as much as I want to make fun of wrestling fans, and as much as I want to make fun in particular of the Sasha stands, as God knows they freaking deserve it and merit it, y'all have some type of mental disease. Like a disease. And you need help. Seriously. Anyways, as much as I would like to make fun of people for doing that, I, I just, I gotta say, like, I'm not surprised that people are expressing themselves on social media about this. And WWE has absolutely nobody to blame but themselves for this. Let's be clear. The fact that we're just a couple of weeks out from WrestleMania and something like hashtag main event Bel Air versus Banks is trending on social media is entirely an indictment on WWE and the completely piss poor buildup that we've had for this Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks SmackDown Women's Championship match. Like it's been comically bad. Horrible. And you would think for this match that on the surface that people have been talking about for weeks and weeks and pointing to this and saying, Women's Royal Rumble winner taking on Women's Champion. You're going to have Edge and Roman. <laughs> I'm going to just have that any fucking more because we can't help it. Hashtag WWE ruins everything. And you're thinking, hey, night one main event. It's going to be Belair and Banks. Smackdown Women's title. WrestleMania. Blah, blah, blah. Seems like it made natural sense. And in the grand scheme of things, a few weeks ago, it most certainly did. But now, the fact that fans feel like they have to get this trending on Twitter, the fact that fans are worried that this might not happen, the fact that this is even a possibility that it might not happen, or furthermore, may not deserve to actually be the night one main event at WrestleMania, is totally an indictment on WWE. Like, how the fuck do you screw this up so much? I understand a couple of years ago, you know, the whole 
women's main event build up to WrestleMania was not great. And that match was a popcorn fart. But part of the problem with that was it was self-induced by WWE. Instead of just focusing on the dynamics of the man, Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey, you had to shoehorn fucking Charlotte in there. And when she did that, it threw all the dynamics off. None of it worked. And instead of focusing on these two elements, now you're trying to incorporate a third. And it doesn't help her. It doesn't help the other two. Throws off the chemistry of the match. And it's fucking stupid. And it absolutely was. History my ass. Yeah, it was the first time women main evented WrestleMania in a match. But it's not exactly a glowing endorsement of their performance that we look back a couple of years later and go, oh, oh. So here was a chance, a lot of people thought, they were going to get right. Going to be one-on-one. Going to take somebody that a lot of people like, and Sasha Banks, who has some mainstream appeal, versus somebody in Bianca Belair, whose star is very bright and she's hot right now, so let's roll with it and see what the hell you got. Two ladies that you're envisioning potentially being the future of your women's division in WWE for perhaps several years to come. Like, yeah, let's fucking do this. Let's go after it. Some black girl magic and all that other shit. Like, everything's pointing at it. But then all of a sudden you gotta sit there and incorporate fucking Reginald into the mix. And just screwed it all the hell up. And then you gotta sit there and involve Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler because that's just gonna do so well, right? Ugh. And now you've got Sasha and Bianca trading losses in these tag team matches. And it's all distractions. And it's all deviation from what really freaking matters. And now you're a couple of weeks away from WrestleMania and you took what should have been, for all intents and purposes, the absolute beyond a shadow of a doubt night one main event in Bianca Belair versus Sasha Banks and you've made people care a lot less about it. You've made this thing that should be popping by this point in time in the Mania build feel like it's an absolute disaster. And now you got people talking about they think that, for Christ's sakes, Drew McIntyre versus Bobby Lashley should be the night one main event. And maybe there's something to be said about that because it's not a, a men versus women thing. It's a, do you want both night's main events to feature SmackDown talent? Do you want to give some love to the Raw show? Especially with Bobby Lashley being WWE champion, there's certainly a little bit of history there. It's a valid conversation to have. It's a world championship. You know, if you, especially if you're going to go with Lashley, you better not fucking have Drew win. What a waste of time that would be. But then I would say, you know, if Lashley was going for the title here and wasn't defending, maybe I'd have more passion around that should be the night one main event. But, but I'm cool with it. But in the grand scheme of things, the fact that this even has to be a debate is just ridiculous. It shouldn't have to be this way. It just shouldn't be. But Vince and WWE doing what the hell they do, they overcomplicate the simple. Instead of Sasha Banks just strictly being the, hey, I'm the boss bitch and look at me and my phony acting ass, but more so like, hey, this is my spot. I'm going to protect it. I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect it. And Bianca Belair talking about, you know, just strictly, I'm the EST. And you build up the heat and attention for weeks and weeks and weeks. Instead, you try to throw them together. You try to do all this dumb shit that you don't know how the hell to do, and it doesn't fucking work. Now, let's be clear. Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks should not main event night one of WrestleMania just because they're women or just because they're black women or any of that bullshit. If we want to talk about actual equality, the equality comes in from if their story, if the characters are interesting enough, if they've got enough heat and they've got enough interest, then they merit that position. That's it. You do not sit there and play this phony-ass diversity game just so that way WWE can sit there and get the rocks off about, look at how good we are and look at how inclusive we are when we know that's anything but true. And we've gotten to the point now where you have to legitimately seriously question whether Bianca and Sasha should actually be that night one main event. And I want to be clear here. I want to be clear here. To me, that's the match that should have absolutely been beyond a shadow of a doubt the night one main event. Because you had characters that mattered. You should have had a story that was interesting enough that this absolutely positively should not have been a doubt. And maybe because of the whole thing trending on social media... Like, the hashtag you guys put out there will get the job done and they'll protect that night one main event spot. That's very possible. 
But how much of that will really feel like it's interesting and deserved? And sure, you'll get caught up in the moment and be like, man, this is great. You, know, you got the ladies are dominating. You got black girl magic running the end of night one of WrestleMania, all of that. And I'll probably be there along with you to some degree. But I'm seeing some people that are just see, saying, well, the ladies should. No, why should the ladies main event? Not because they're women. That's cheap. Period. They should be main eventing because you're talking about investing in the future in these ladies. You're talking about them being two of the pillars of your company. You're talking about the fact that these women more and more represent something that's important to WWE in terms of how they conduct their business and how they present their show. And as a result, you have to give them at least somewhat equal equivalent footing here. Even though it is still primarily a male dominated company, you know, there's certainly been some daylight open in the past several years when it comes to the ladies. So they absolutely have to have that spot. And when you're in a position where you have somebody like a Sasha who's getting some mainstream exposure, when you have somebody like a Bianca Belair who is certainly positioned to get that mainstream exposure herself and probably take it another level from Sasha, I would agree that that match should absolutely main event. But the buildup has been so bad that I really worry about how poorly executed that fucking match is going to be. Like, maybe it shouldn't main event night one of WrestleMania. Maybe you feel like you play it safer with McIntyre and Lashley. Because at least then you think it's going to be some type of physical brawl. You feel like you're going to get something out of it. You still have something, some type of stakes here. Are they just going to sit there and use this as an excuse for McIntyre to get his win in front of the people, in front of fans? Or is Bobby Lashley going to get a signature win at a big four pay-per-view and establish him as a top player in WWE? Like, as I start to talk about it more and more, it starts to get a little more interesting with that match. And I am not a fan of number two Drew at all. You guys should know that. But shit, I got to look at it and say, the way they've horribly botched and bungled and bangled up this fucking Sasha Bianca feud... I don't even know anymore. If it's been handled this badly, which it has, it absolutely has, up to this point, what confidence do you have in the next three SmackDowns are going to fix this? What confidence do you have that you're going to go out and that night one main event is actually truly going to deliver? There's questions there. And there shouldn't be. There absolutely shouldn't be. And what I hope is, is that this match... If it ends up being the night one main event, is it the night one main event because a bunch of fans pissed and moan and bitch and complain with a hashtag on Twitter? Because that's not fixing the problem. That's not addressing the problem. You might want these ladies to main event, but they need to earn it and deserve it. Based off of their own merits, you can have one conversation about whether they merit it, earn it, or deserve it. And that probably leans more than the affirmative. When you look at the story and the way it's progressed in recent weeks, you absolutely unequivocally cannot say that feels like a main event feud. And that is absolutely 1,000% on WWE because Vince just had to throw a guy in there like Reginald. He just had to fuck around with it. He just had to sit there and piss around with it and screw it up because he couldn't help himself because he doesn't know what the hell he's doing anymore. His daughter doesn't know what the hell she's doing. His son-in-law, praise God, ugga. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. And to every NXT jackass that sits there and says, yes, he does. He can't even get 600,000 viewers consistently to their fucking NXT show that's on USA Network for two hours on Wednesday night. So sit down and shut the hell up. They don't know what the hell they're doing. And it's a shame that we have fans now that feel entitled enough that the only way that they're going to get their voices heard is they have to go to Twitter and they have to get things trending. That's sad. Sad indictment on where wrestling is, and it's a very sad indictment on WWE and their current practices, their current creative, that this even needed to be a thing at all. Because it shouldn't have been. This should have been lock, stock, and barrel a while ago, and it might be the plan all along. But if that's the case, we should probably act like it is, Vince, and probably do better by it in the next few weeks. Because I'm telling you right now... Bianca and Sasha does not feel like a main event WrestleMania worthy match, period.